Hi guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a lawn tractor that won't start in five minutes using only a Torx screwdriver. So what I've got here is a Craftsman lawn tractor with a Briggs V-twin engine. Customer says it's really hard to start. It's been like that since day one, since it was new. Now, this is a problem I often see on these machines and I think it's a problem that comes out of the factory. So what I'll do here is I'll turn it over to show you that it will not start even with the choke on. So on this lawn tractor here, when you go to start it, you push the lever all the way up. The choke is on. Now I'm going to spin it over. So it doesn't even come close to firing up. So again, this is a really quick fix. I'm going to bring it in the shop here and show you how to do this. So I've got it in the shop. The first thing you want to do is pop that hood open again. Now I'll tell you exactly before I fix it what the problem is. The problem is that when you engage the choke on the lever on the console right there, the choke is not actually going on. So it appears that the choke's going on when you push it in all the way, you think you've got the choke on, you go to start it, it won't start. And that's because something needs to be adjusted in there. Now you don't need to take the hood off to fix this problem. However, I will remove it today just to be able to show it to you better. If you do remove your hood, make sure you disconnect the lights. Then just tilt the hood forward a bit, lift it up. Now here's where the problem lies. This is the choke lever over here. You can see it's loose. And according to the lever here, the choke is supposed to be on full, but it's not on properly because this is still loose. So if you watch now, I'll push this upwards like this all the way. I'll turn the key and it'll start up right away. Now, before I fix the problem, I'll show you what's going on with another carburetor that's the same as the one on the tractor. This is the linkage I showed you. This is where the play is on the tractor. So as you saw, when I started the tractor, I held it all the way up. And what it was doing is closing both choke butterflies. So when the butterflies are closed like this on this carburetor, the choke is on. When the butterflies are open, the choke's off. Now some carburetors will only have one butterfly. This one has two, but it's the same principle. It works the same way. Right now, however, the butterflies are set at about here when the choke is full on. So they're only working at three quarters capacity. The next step in the video here is to show you how to make the butterflies close fully like this when the throttle lever is right at the top here where the choke is supposed to be engaged. So what you need now is a good T25 torque screwdriver. And this is the torque screw that you need to locate. And when I fix this problem, I keep the lever all the way up to engage the choke fully. And again, before I do the adjustment, I'll show you the play in the choke linkage. You can see it's quite loose. So what you need to do here is hold the cable with your hand, loosen the T25 torque screw. And again, make sure that the throttle lever is all the way up to engage the choke fully. Loosen that screw, pull on the cable, you saw that this moved a bit. Retighten up the screw. And with just that small cable adjustment I did there, you can see that the choke linkage is very tight now. So what that means is the choke is fully engaged when I have the throttle lever up in the choke position. So now if you back off the choke position, you will see that there is play again in the choke linkage. And again, do a second test, put the choke back on. And again, you don't want any play in the choke linkage and the arm here when the choke is fully engaged. So basically the only adjustment that is needed to fix this problem is to loosen the screw and pull the cable back barely a quarter of an inch. Depending on the issue from the factory, you may have to adjust it less or more, but the end result is that when you have the choke on, you don't want any play in the choke linkage here. And now you'll notice when you go to start it, it starts much easier. And now just reinstall the hood. You want to line up these two things here to the two slots here. So just line them both in like this and you can see them on both sides here now they're in correctly and I'll just reconnect the lights. 
and you're totally done this repair it did not cost you anything now it may not always be this easy to fix a non-starting lawn tractor but if you do check this first you could have other issues if that's not the case you could have a dirty carburetor you could have a bad fuel filter bad fuel pump so there's a lot of issues there besides just this problem but this issue here is quite easy to fix it doesn't cost you anything so you should always check this first you can also check your spark plugs make sure you have spark as well but it's also good to know that you've tried certain things before you take your tractor to a shop Thanks again for watching guys, make sure to subscribe. Also make sure to click on the bell below to get notifications when I upload a new video and make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and have a great day.